435 now. ABC News has learned the school bus driver involved in a deadly crash in Tennessee was involved in another crash back in September. 24-year-old sideswiped another driver after crossing into oncoming traffic. No kids were hurt in that accident. Investigators say the driver was speeding when he crashed into a tree yesterday. Five children died. Several remain in intensive care. And that crash in Tennessee is starting a conversation about school bus safety across the country once again. And here in Hillsborough County, it's bringing back some painful memories for parents whose children were on a bus that crashed into a pond. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska asked them what they think should happen. They just forget about it. They did nothing. Ramiro Rivera says he sent letters to the school pleading that the bus his daughter rides on will be replaced with a new bus with seat belts. I'm not interested in any lawsuit. What I'm interested in just is having a new bus for all those kids. This video from IMMI, a company that tests and designs safety features, shows just how scary a rollover school bus crash can be. In the Odessa crash from September of last year, the district released video inside the bus right before impact into the pond. I make sure they're clipped in all the time, but yet we send them on the bus every morning and, and after school with no seat belts on. Chantel Garcy's 11-year-old son was thrown from his seat and wound up underwater. I think it was best that they didn't have seat belts on because they were able to get out from under the water easier, quicker, better. Parents we spoke to that watched the video out of Chattanooga are extremely grateful that the school bus their children were riding on went right past this tree, missing it by just a few feet. And missing another tree closer to the water. However, if it would have just been a couple inches closer to either one of those trees, we could have been in the same situation. The first thing I saw when I saw that bus into that big tree was I immediately remember the accident that we had. We emailed school officials that they are on Thanksgiving break and we have not heard back. In Odessa and Hillsborough County, Michael Paluske, ABC Action News.